Hey everyone, what's up? This is Blaze. Welcome back to some more uh, Polaris Test Realm videos. Today we're going to be looking at the two new training point quests that are given by Eloise and Prospector Zeke. I'm going to start off this video by doing the Polar Roses and then towards the later half I will be doing the Ice Cream Cones, which is Prospector Zeke's quest. So let's get started with the Polar Roses. Plotting out Polar Roses. Oh, hello there, wizard. I'm glad I caught you. You ran off so quickly after your graduation ceremony, I didn't get the chance to tell you. Congratulations. What brings you to Polaris? Helping Bartleby? Well, isn't that sweet? Say, maybe I could get a little help too. The Royal Museum has sent me all the way up here to find polar roses. But between you and me, it's simply too cold for me to leave the city. Any chance you could keep a lookout for polar roses while you're here? I'd be ever so grateful. Be ever so grateful. I mean, the main point of the world is to help Bartleby, but we don't even, like, really do that. I don't know. Okay, let me think. Where is the first one? It's by the pub, the first place that you go, where the first boss is in Polaris. So we're going to head over that way and grab this one, and then I will cut to when I find the other ones in the other areas of Polaris. Not too many areas, so I don't think there's that many, but here's the first one. It is right next to this first like pub tavern area with this sign here i'll show it on the map so you guys can see it too there it is down in this corner and you'll find the rose right there so the second rose in the walrusberg harbor is all the way over here on the ice and i don't even think you had to go on here for the main quest but there's this patch of ice that you can see on the map here that you can go down this ramp which is right over there past these sea lions and then head over into the corner and you will find the polar rose right there Okay, so Polar Rose number three, and that is the one in the Forlorn Taig, Taiga, I don't know. Taiga's easier to say. But yeah, here it is. It's all the way in this corner. All you have to do is take that teleport to the Forlorn Taig, and you'll find it right over in the corner next to the Witch's Hut. All right, here we are at the fourth Polar Rose in the River of Frozen Tears. It's just in this first forest area when you come out from the Forlorn Taig. And it's right here, next to this tree and rock. So I'll just show you the entrance of the uh, the River Frozen Tears. So you kind of get an idea, it's just right over here. On to the fifth rose in Urville Station. And it's over in kind of the forest area outside of the gates. And it's also coming from the Taig. You can just kind of head over this way. And it's next to this tree in the back. And you get it. I think we are, yeah, we're just, no, we're two away. You still have the Frigima and the Catawba Ice Block. Here is the six polar rows in the frigid mall, which is like the mine area. And to get up here, you just come through the entrance from Irville Station, take a left, and then head up a little bit into this kind of dead end area. And uh, you'll find the rose right there. And the last rose in the Kataba ice block is right here. You have to kind of, if you've already done the Kataba ice block, all you have to do is teleport to the Golem Garden. And then walk up a little bit, and the rose will be right here before you enter like the next area, which I think is the final area of the ice block anyway. So, yeah, just go through the teleporter, which is right there, and head over here. And you will have the final rose for Eloise. How did your polar rose hunt go? You found so many. Great work as always. It's no coincidence you graduated with honors. You know Zeke vehemently disagreed at the time. But I told him you were special your first day. I guess we showed him, huh? Well, I'm sure we'll meet again in some exotic locale. But make sure you drop in and say hello to the folks in Wizard City once in a while, okay? I'm sure we'll meet again. So, those are the Polarian Roses. And you get a badge. Which is an interesting badge. It's not like the Explorer badges that we've seen in the past worlds. Yeah, we get Polarian Rose Picker. So, now we have the Zeke Quest to do too cold too cold howdy young wizard er, huh. hmm. now that you done graduated from wavenwood i suppose i can't go around calling you young wizard no more <laughs> uh, well even you got a second to stop and listen i'd love to collaborate with you on a little project if you be so kind you see, I done come all the way up here with my brand new invention to collect samples of vanilla ice. The stuff is mighty tasty, oh yeah, but it's it's too cold to harvest by hand. That's why I invented this here vanilla ice scoop. 
If alone you must scoob, will you take samples of any vanilla ice you come across here in Polaris? I'd be much obliged. Yeah, I've already seen quite a few of these around, so time to do the vanilla ice. Okay, here is the first vanilla ice. Pretty much a big struggle to get here because you have to go through this like entire wing on the side of the Imperial Palace. It's not the actual Imperial Palace. It's like this little instance that you have to do where you fight like two, one or two mobs and two bosses. Here's what the instance looks like from the outside. It's just called Imperial Palace. So you have to go through that instance to defeat like two or three fights in order to get to that first vanilla ice. Vanilla ice number two is going to be in this instance area here in the Walrusburg Harbor. It's where Inspector Cluso is. Hopefully I don't have to fight him. <laughs> Love to see. Uh, don't pull. Plus no pull. Okay, it's right here. Boom. Alright, there it is. Vanilla Ice number two. Okay, so I know that I saw the vanilla ice for the tag i know it's in this instance because i remember seeing it by baba yaga but i'm not sure how difficult it is to get to so yeah um i forgot what this even does i think last time i went around the edge and it didn't pull me so we're gonna do that we're gonna not disturb the snowman all right yeah that's how you well, now, get past that if you want to all right, Bobby. Garden, <laughs> I it's call her Bobby. Please don't pull. Don't to no, I, I got it. Did I get it? Do I. We didn't even get it. <laughs> All right, solo uh, Baba Yaga. Let's do this. All right, we got it. So, yeah. If you want to do this without fighting her, just uh, you have to go in once and then flee and come back. Or you can just get the Vanilla Ice quest before you start Polaris and just do it while you're like questing. And once you defeat her, you will be able to get it easily. There it is. Alright, River of Frozen Tears. This one is not nearly as difficult as all the other ones. It's just right here. Not in an instance for once. And I'll show it to you on the map. It's up in this area by these trees. And uh, that is where we get, I think it's the fourth one. How many do we have left? One, two. Yeah, we only have two left, so I think there's six total. Vanilla Ice and Herbal Station is also pretty easy. It's just right off to the side here before you head in to the mines. Show it on the map. It's just in this corner kind of. By these train tracks and the final ice cream cone is right here in the frigid maw it's towards the end you kind of have to walk a ways to get all the way down here and head around but yeah it's over in this area on the map so if you just head that way you will find it and that is all six of them so we're gonna head back to prospector zeke and turn in this quest all right stop don't tell me you gathered up all them vanilla ice samples already you did well, aren't you just quick to the point? I should have known that if there was a problem, my wizard friend would solve it. Glad to see you're not just loafing around now that you're out of wizard school. <laughs> Alrighty. And there it is, the training point. Polaris Explorer. Oh yeah, usually the uh, the Z quest is the one that gives you the Explorer badge. So we got that, and then we also got the badge from Eloise. So yeah, two badges right there. You get training points. I recommend getting the ice cream. Uh, not ice cream, I guess they call it vanilla ice. Get the ice quest from Zeke before you start Polaris, and then you can collect those on your way as you quest when the game comes out or the world comes out on Live Realm. So that's going to do it for this video. If it helped you out, make sure to leave a like on it, subscribe for more videos on wizard stuff in the future. And other than that, have a nice day, and I'll see you all next time.